which rocks contain gold. Gold is most commonly found in igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks, though its concentration and form can vary significantly depending on the geological processes involved. Here's a deeper look into the types of rocks that often contain gold and how the precious metal is hosted within them. 1. Quartz veins in igneous and metamorphic rocks. One of the most well-known and historically significant sources of gold is quartz. Gold is often found in quartz veins that form during the cooling of hydrothermal fluids within the Earth's crust. These quartz veins are commonly hosted in igneous rocks like granite, diorite, or rhyolite, and metamorphic rocks like schist and greenstone. Gold is usually present in free-milling form, meaning it exists as free particles or flakes that can be separated from the quartz by crushing and panning. Example. The famous Mother Lode region in California is a classic example where gold-bearing quartz veins are hosted in metamorphic rocks. 2. Greenstone Belts. Greenstone belts are zones of metamorphosed volcanic and sedimentary rocks found in ancient geological terrains. They are some of the richest sources of gold on Earth. These belts often contain gold-bearing sulfide minerals such as pyrite and arsenopyrite, which can trap microscopic or invisible gold within their crystal structure. Over time, weathering can release gold from these minerals into nearby placers. Example. The Witwatersrand Rand Basin in South Africa, the world's largest gold deposit, is found within an ancient greenstone belt. 3. Sedimentary Rocks and Placers Gold can also be found in sedimentary environments, particularly in placer deposits. These are concentrations of gold formed by weathering and erosion of primary gold sources. Placer gold accumulates in stream beds, alluvial deposits, and riverbanks where heavy gold particles settle due to their high density. The parent rocks that release the gold can be quartz veins, greenstones, or any other gold-bearing rocks. Example. The Klondike Gold Fields in Canada and the Yukon River Placer deposits are famous for their rich alluvial gold. 4. Intrusive Rocks, Granites and Pegmatites Gold is sometimes found in granitic intrusions and pegmatites. In granites, gold may be associated with sulfide minerals or exist as fine grains along with quartz and feldspar. Pegmatites, which are coarse-grained igneous rocks, can sometimes carry trace amounts of gold, though they are more famous for gemstones and lithium-bearing minerals. 5. Volcanic Rocks, Andesite and Basalt in volcanic settings, especially in regions with active or ancient subduction zones, gold is often associated with epithermal deposits, where hot hydrothermal fluids near the Earth's surface deposit gold within volcanic rocks like andesite or basalt. These are typically rich in gold-silver mineralization and can also host minerals like chalcopyrite and galena. Example The gold-rich regions of Indonesia, Peru, and Chile feature epithermal deposits in volcanic arcs. 6. Banded Iron Formations Some large-scale gold deposits are associated with banded iron formations, particularly in regions like Western Australia. These are layered sedimentary rocks rich in iron and silica that, under certain conditions, become hosts to disseminated gold deposits. Example. The Super Pit in Kalgoorlie, Australia, contains gold hosted in BIFs and related rocks. Conclusion Gold is a rare but naturally occurring element that is distributed in a variety of geological settings. The most productive sources of gold are often associated with quartz veins in metamorphic terrains, greenstone belts, and placer deposits derived from these primary sources. Understanding the host rock type, mineral association, and geological environment is crucial for geologists and prospectors in locating new gold deposits. Gold can be found both in rocks, primary deposits, and in stream beds, secondary or placer deposits, but the way it occurs in each environment is quite different. Understanding where gold is mostly found depends on the context, whether you're looking at total gold in the Earth's crust, or the gold that is easiest to extract by humans. Let's break it down in a detailed way. 1. Gold and Rocks, Primary Deposits What are primary gold deposits? 
Primary gold deposits are formed deep underground in the Earth's crust when hot, gold-rich hydrothermal fluids flow through cracks and fissures in the rock. These fluids cool down and deposit gold and other minerals, forming veins or disseminated ore. Gold in these deposits is usually encased in hard rock, such as quartz veins, greenstone belts, intrusive rocks like granite, metamorphic rocks like schist and gneiss. How is the gold found? In rocks, gold is often found as visible gold flakes or nuggets, free milling gold, microscopic particles locked inside minerals like pyrite or arsenopyrite. Invisible gold, which can only be detected with laboratory analysis. These deposits require hard rock mining techniques to extract the ore, followed by crushing, grinding, and chemical processing, e.g., cyanidation, to separate the gold. Examples of famous primary gold deposits Witwaters Rand Basin, South Africa, the world's largest gold deposit, formed in ancient sedimentary rock. Carlin Trend, Nevada, USA, a massive deposit of microscopic gold in sedimentary rocks. Kalgoorlie Super Pit, Australia, gold found in quartz veins within metamorphic rocks. 2. Gold in stream beds, placer deposits. What are placer gold deposits? Placer deposits are formed through weathering and erosion of gold-bearing rocks. Over millions of years, gold is released from these rocks and carried by wind, water, or gravity downhill. Due to its high density, gold settles in low-energy environments such as riverbeds, stream banks, alluvial fans, ancient dry river channels, paleoplacers. Why does gold accumulate in stream beds? Gold is about 19 times heavier than water, so when it gets eroded from its parent rock, it sinks quickly and accumulates in cracks, crevices, and natural traps in riverbeds. These areas are ideal for panning, sluicing, and dredging, especially during gold rushes. Forms of gold in placers Nuggets Flakes Dust Placer gold is easier to recover compared to primary gold because it doesn't require extensive chemical processing, just physical separation methods. Examples of famous placer deposits Klondike River, Yukon, Canada, site of the famous Klondike Gold Rush. California Gold Country, USA, the American Gold Rush of 1849 began here. Otago Region, New Zealand, well known for large placer gold nuggets. So, where is gold mostly found? In terms of quantity. The majority of the Earth's gold, over 75%, is still locked in primary hard rock deposits. These deposits represent the largest reservoirs of gold in terms of mass. Modern industrial gold production is dominated by hard rock mining operations, which extract gold from ore in massive quantities. In terms of accessibility and history. Historically, much of the early gold discovered by humans came from placer deposits because it was easier to extract with simple tools, like gold pans or sluice boxes. Today, placer mining still plays a role, especially in artisanal or small-scale operations, but it accounts for only a small percentage of total gold mined globally. Conclusion Gold is mostly found in rocks, especially in primary hard rock deposits such as quartz veins, greenstone belts, and intrusive rocks. These sources contain the largest volume of gold on Earth and account for the vast majority of global gold production today. However, stream beds, placer deposits, have played a historically significant role in gold discovery and extraction, especially during the Great Gold Rushes. Placer gold is easier to extract and was essential for early gold seekers, but in terms of actual gold quantity and modern mining operations, the deep rocks of the earth hold the mother load.